Okay, I am going to do uh, this first problem here. So with this part, w with this problem, with these questions, um, I want you to use the divergence theorem. So what does the divergence theorem say? The divergence theorem says that if you are integrating a vector field over a closed surface with outward orientation, this is equal to the triple integral over the region that is enclosed by that surface of the divergence of f, so the gradient dotted with f. Okay, so let's look at problem number one. So problem number one, if you wanted to do this as just directly as the service integral of a vector field, we have to split this up into six different ones. Each one would be tedious, so it's better to use this over here because this is a closed surface. Okay, and I'll let you put this into GeoGebra or something to figure out what the, what the surface actually looks like. Okay, so first the divergence of f. Remember, this is just the partial x derivative, the partial y derivative, the partial z derivative dotted with the vector. So this is x, y, e to the z, x, y squared, z cubed, minus y, e to the z. Okay, and so this is going to be, so it's the partial derivative of this with respect to x, so that's y, e, z, plus the partial derivative of that with respect to y, so this is plus 2x, y, z cubed, plus the partial derivative of this with respect to z, so this is minus y, e to the z, and this is just 2x, y, z cubed. Okay, so that's the divergence. Okay, so the region uh, that is enclosed by this, so S is the surface bound, surface of the box bounded by the coordinate planes in these three planes. Okay, so this means X is gonna go from zero to three. Y will go from zero to two. And Z will go from zero, whoops. Z will go from zero to one, two, x, y, z cubed, dx, dy, dz. And the answer to this is, of course, nine halves. Sorry, I already worked this out and I don't want to do the, I don't want to do this integral. Okay, so it's not a difficult integral to do though. It might be kind of tedious though, not even really that tedious. Okay, uh, so now let's look at number, let's look at number four. So the first one we did was number one. Uh, I want to look at number four. I think, isn't this, was it this one number one? Yeah, so this is number one. Now I'm going to look at number four. Okay, so again, it's going to be the same thing. So we're going to use the divergence theorem. So the first thing that we need to do is to compute the divergence of the vector field. So gradient dotted with f. Remember, that's what divergence means, gradient dotted with f. Uh, so this is going to be 6x squared plus 3y squared plus 3y squared. This is 6x squared plus y squared. OK, so we're going to integrate this. Uh, over the volume that is bounded by this region. S is the surface of the solid bounded by this paraboloid, okay, and the xy plane. So this is a downward facing paraboloid. Um, so we're gonna do this. So the integral that we want to compute is this, e, uh, six x squared plus y squared dv, but we're integrating a paraboloid over a circular region. So uh, we're integrating a paraboloid here. And so we should be using um, cylindrical coordinates. Okay, this is just like an integral from the last test that we have. So from the last test we have. So theta will go from zero to two pi. R goes from zero to one. Because when, when you're in the xy plane, in other words, when z is equal to zero, this becomes zero equals uh, zero equals one minus x squared minus y squared. 
So that means R goes from zero to one. Okay, and Z is going to go from zero to one minus R squared. Okay, don't forget the R. Uh, need to erase this. Don't forget the R. DZ, DR. Oh man. Uh, I don't know what's going on here now. All right, well, there's a little box. I don't know how to get rid of that. Anyways, that is the R, D, Z, D, R, D, theta. And now we multiply. We also have to include the function that we're integrating, which is 6x squared plus y squared, or in cylindrical coordinates, this is 6r squared. And this is, again, this is a simple integral to do. It might be tedious, uh, but it's a straightforward integral. And the answer is pi. Okay, so this, uh, this is two examples using the divergence theorem.